Many considered this man to be the father of robotics. His name was Philon of Byzantium. He was also known as Philo, or Philo Mechanicus, because when it came to mechanics, he was thousands of years ahead of the game. Philon of Byzantium was one of the most mysterious characters of antiquity. We know very little about him, but what we do know is that he was responsible for some of the most impossible inventions of his day. We also know that Philon was drawn to the library at Alexandria around the same time as Tisibius. And it's here where he wrote his masterpiece, a compendium of mechanics. Most of this work has been lost, but we know that Philon's brilliance in math and mechanics led him to invent some of the most lethal weapons of the day, like this repeating crossbow, an ancient machine gun. He also worked out how to project huge missiles from a catapult. But Philon is most famous for being the inspiration for this. You talking to me? I'm the only one here. Machines like this can trace their origins all the way back to Philon. Meet Philon's maid, an automaton that could pour a goblet of wine and mix it with water. Is this the world's first robot? The invention that really makes me think of Philo as a hero of ancient engineering is his wine pouring maid. Now, this was a device shaped like a woman with an outstretched hand and holding a jug of wine. Someone would come up and place their empty cup in the outstretched hand, and under the force of gravity, the hand would descend, and through a series of very clever valves, the air pressure inside of the device would change, allowing wine and water to be poured into the glass. The serving maid was built to astonish and amaze, and at a dinner party in ancient Greece, this was just what a rich host wanted. It was a party piece like no other, it had human characteristics and performed human tasks. Guests at this dinner party had witnessed history in the making. They'd been given wine by the world's first robot. And 2,000 years after Philon created the serving maid for some wealthy client, we have brought the robot back to life. I'm going to place the chalice in the hand and we'll see if it works. If it does work, First, we'll get a precise measure of wine, followed by a precise measure of water. Ah, oh, there we go. That's the start of it. The wine's stopped. And now there's the water. There we go. And it's stopped. The cup has then been taken out and handed to an astonished and mystified guest. The wine is released into the goblet by the movement of the arm. And then, when the goblet reaches an exact weight, the wine valve closes and the water valve opens, diluting the wine. Just how the ancient Greeks liked it. This was all incredibly sophisticated. It seems likely that Philon learned from Tisibius about hydraulics and compressed air. Then he took this engineering to amazing levels. The idea that a piece of engineering that this sophistication could actually have been produced such a long time ago is stunning. It's almost impossible for us to believe.